Hemoglobin is a lab value that you absolutely must know and need to know as it's run with part of the CBC and we run it on healthy patients, we run it on sick patients. We just run this lab often and it gives us a good indication of a lot of things going on within the body. So first of all, normal hemoglobin values for a healthy adult is going to be a little bit different for males and females. For males, it's going to be about 13 to 18. And for females, it's going to be about 12 to 16. Hemoglobin is an intracellular protein of red blood cells, okay? And it plays a couple really important roles. First of all, it carries oxygen to red blood cells, and it carries carbon dioxide away from red blood cells. It also plays a really important role as a buffer system in extracellular fluid. This helps with acid-base balance in our body. Each hemoglobin molecule has two portions, the heme portion and the globulin portion. The heme portion is actually contains iron, which has a very high affinity for oxygen. Now, there's a few things that play a role in this affinity to oxygen, but what we term this affinity to oxygen is termed as the oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve. And depending on various things within our body, various occurrences in our body, the hemoglobin will actually have a higher affinity to oxygen or a lower affinity to oxygen. So a couple things that will cause hemoglobin to have a higher affinity to oxygen are going to be things like decreased body temperature, decreased CO2 concentration, or increased pH. And it's really the exact opposite things that are going to cause hemoglobin to have a lower affinity to oxygen. So things like increased body temperature, decreased pH, or higher acidity, and an increased CO2 concentration. So we'll dive into this more when we get into acid-base balance, but you can see the huge role that hemoglobin plays in acid-base balance in the body and how different uh, alkalotic versus acidic conditions are going to have a high impact on our hemoglobin, and hemoglobin is going to really play a role in buffering that system. So really, we can use hemoglobin levels as a direct reflection of the O2 combining ca capacity of the blood, or we can really look at hemoglobin as an indicator of how much oxygen or how oxygenated our blood can be. So as we talked about with a couple of their lab values, it's really important to look at hematocrit with hemoglobin with RBCs because these all play a direct role with each other. In fact, our RBC count multiplied by three should be give us an approximate value of our hemoglobin value. So for example, if our RBCs are five, our hemoglobin should be about 15. So why would a provider order a hemoglobin value? Well, first of all, again, like I said, it comes with a general CBC, so a lot of patients are going to have this run, but some reasons that a provider is going to want to look at hemoglobin is that it can help us detect uh, hematologic disorders. It can help us monitor blood loss and help us monitor uh, response to blood replacement therapies. It can actually really help with some respiratory disorders, like it can help us uh, monitor COPD, and it can help us monitor for anemia or polycythemia. So some of the reasons we're going to see an increased hemoglobin are going to be things like burns, COPD, CHF, dehydration. And some of the reasons we're going to see a decreased hemoglobin are going to be anemia, first of all, obviously, fluid retention issues, nutritional deficiencies, or hemorrhage. What I want you to take from this is that hemoglobin is a very complex lab value, okay? It plays a role in so many different things that it's really important to look at. It actually can help us identify blood disorders as well as respiratory disorders and, and acid base balance within the body. So a really important lab value to understand. And for your healthy male, your value is going to be about 13 to 18. And for your healthy female, 12 to 16.